There's a hidden iPhone setting called system services that might be taking your data, sharing it with other companies. It might be using up all of your battery life, and it might just basically not be protecting your privacy. I'm gonna walk you through all of the steps on what they all are and how to turn them off. Now let's head into these settings here. And we're gonna scroll down a little bit because we need to get to the privacy and security. So towards the bottom there, tap on privacy and security. Now let's scroll down a little bit again, and you can see a long list of various things associated with your privacy and security. In this specific video, we're going to tap on location services and focus on system services that use your location. So let's scroll down again towards the bottom and you can see system services. Now you can see just to start this video, I've turned them all on, but you don't want them all to be on. I'll walk you through what each one of these does and why you might want to leave it on or in a lot of cases why you might want to turn it off. You can see at the very top is alerts and shortcut and automations. Now, essentially, if you're not using alerts or shortcuts, there's no real reason why you need that to access your location. In every one of these categories, it's basically your iPhone allowing whatever setting to use your current location. So you can swipe down from the top right here. You can see at the very top is system services. I can tap on it. And you can see that the system services is currently using my location. Let's go through and toggle some of these off. Turn off alerts and shortcuts automations. I most likely don't use any shortcuts that need my location and you probably don't either. Now the second option, you can see Apple Pay Merchant Identification. So this doesn't affect your ability to use Apple Pay on your iPhone to pay for things in a grocery store, but essentially it uses the location on your iPhone to track where you're using that Apple Pay and tag it to a specific restaurant or shopping center, or maybe it's a bar or grocery store. Again, this doesn't affect your ability to use Apple Pay, but essentially it just gives the merchant more information. And it says basically it helps to tag you are at Whole Foods and you use Apple Pay and it'll tag it as Whole Foods. But again, you don't necessarily need that. Now, the third option, let's move on to cell network search. So this sounds like something that you might want to turn on and leave on. Essentially, this sounds like if you have that turned on, your iPhone will search for the nearest cell tower to connect to to give you better signal. But essentially, that's not what it does. This essentially tracks your location and it doesn't necessarily add any additional benefit to connecting to the closest tower because ultimately what AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile does is it just triangulates your cell location using your signal on your phone. It doesn't need your location services to essentially share that location. This is to basically do a bunch of other stuff that will share your location with a bunch of cell networks. I again would turn this off. You can see the fourth option here is compass calibration. If you use the compass a lot, you might want to calibrate that compass, but I barely ever use my compass. And you can see that little gray arrow indicating that it has used my location, even though I haven't opened up the compass. So again, I don't really want that on. Now, the next option is device management. If a company that you work for or a school or something manages your iPhone, has a management profile on your iPhone, it might ask you to basically share your location with that device management. But again, I would protect your privacy and turn that off unless it's absolutely needed or when they do uh, install that device management on your profile, maybe potentially that is grayed out. But if you can turn that feature off, Again, you don't necessarily wanna share your location with some other company, a school, somebody that is essentially controlling your iPhone. Now, the next option is one that I would recommend leaving on, emergency calls and SOS. 
Now, what this means is if you're somewhere where you don't have good signal and essentially you're trying to connect to your phone to a cell tower to make a call in an emergency, you probably do want your location turned on because essentially that will allow your phone to connect to a satellite somewhere. It'll allow you to make a call, especially if you need help, if you need 911 or emergency services, I would turn that on and leave that on. The next option is find my iPhone. So it depends if you use this feature. I use this feature to share my location with some family members. If you don't necessarily use this, you could always turn it off. But in my case, I'm just gonna leave this on because again, I do share my location with my family members and I want them to be able to track my location just in case they need to know where I am. So this is dependent on how you use your iPhone. Let's move on to the next option, this HomeKit. You can see HomeKit here, again, has used my location. I don't have anything, I don't have any products or apps that use Apple HomeKit. Again, I don't know why it used my location. I'm gonna turn that off. The next one is in-app web browsing. So again, if you're in an app like Instagram or Facebook and it pops up with, say, a Williams-Sonoma ad or something like that and you click on it, and it opens up the web browsing. So that is in the app, in the Instagram app, and your web browsing, essentially when you click on an ad, it'll pop up with kind of their website. Again, why would you want to share your location in that instance? Most of the time, that's just allowing that company advertising to target you and essentially draining your battery life while you don't necessarily get any additional benefits. I would turn that off. Now, the next one is motion calibration and distance. So if you want to calibrate the motion on your iPhone, maybe you use your iPhone when you're out jogging or walking and you want it to be able to track essentially that activity, you could essentially turn this on, but a lot of people have Apple watches or other devices, Fitbits and stuff that will track their location and their activity as they run or cycle or swim or something like that. So again, this isn't really needed, I would recommend turning that off. The next one, networking and wireless. This essentially helps you to be able to connect from your iPhone to a Wi-Fi signal nearby or a cell tower. This actually is something that I would recommend leaving on. You can see networking wireless has used my location recently. Now, if I turn this off, one key thing is it says at the very bottom, it says location for networking wireless, turning off location and wireless may affect your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and ultra wideband performance. So again, I would recommend leaving this off or leaving this on rather. Essentially, if you're connecting to Wi-Fi, this helps your performance in addition to Bluetooth. Now, the next option let's go down is satellite connection. Again, this is in case there's an emergency and you need to connect your phone to a satellite somewhere so that you can make an emergency SOS call. This is something that if it's on and you need it, you really need it. Obviously, there's an emergency. I would turn this on and leave it on. The next option now, let's get to setting time zone. Now, if you go a bunch of different places, say you're traveling from the East Coast to the West Coast to Europe really frequently, maybe your time zone just changes a lot. But in my case, it doesn't change all that often. And I can always just go in there and manually update it if I wanted to. I don't need my iPhone to constantly be checking what time zone I'm in, just be using a battery life and share my location. The next option is share my location. Here you can see that is turned on. Again, I share my location with family members. If you do share your location with family members, you can leave this on. But essentially, if you don't share your location with various family members or friends or whoever, you can turn that off. Let's go to the next one. So you can see suggestions and search. Again, I don't need my iPhone to know my location to suggest various things. Or when I search on Google, again, this is, I feel, an invasion of my privacy and not something that I find great value in. It doesn't add a lot of value to my everyday life. So I turn that off. You can see system customization. This essentially allows your iPhone system, the iOS operating system, to tweak and kind of modify various things dependent on your location, your time zone, where you're at uh, your home or an office or something like that. Again, I don't necessarily need that. I would turn it off.
Wi-Fi calling is something that I use. I have really bad signal in my home. So essentially what that allows me to do is use Wi-Fi when I make a call in addition to my cell network. So I would recommend leaving this on so that essentially you can have that turned on to help make better calls. Now let's review all of these. So again, this is how I would recommend all of those settings turned on or off, depending again on your preference on whether you share your location, et cetera. Let's go to significant locations. This is one that I would recommend everybody turn off. So essentially, do you want your iPhone to track locations that you commonly go to and have a record of them? I just don't see really any benefit to the user to have this. So I would recommend turning that off and hitting clear history. After we do that, let's go back out of here and we'll walk through a few more things. You can see iPhone analytics, routing and traffic, and improve maps. This is sharing your data from your phone with Apple so that they can make a better product. So it kind of is up to you depending on whether you like to share your location. Keep in mind, again, these are all your location, not just the analytics, but the location associated with those analytics. Again, I don't necessarily see much benefit for me, so I would turn off all of those, but if you're okay with sharing your location, through analytics to basically allow them to improve your routing and your Apple Maps, et cetera, you can turn those on. At the very bottom right, I would recommend leaving the status bar icon on. Essentially what this means is at the very top left, you can see that little arrow indicating my current location is being used. I can always swipe down from the top right and see system services here. Oh, let me get out of that system services here and it says it's used my location recently. Now keep in mind if there's a gray arrow, that's basically it's used your location within the last 24 hours. And if it's a purple arrow, it's using your location right now. So it's just a good thing to be able to find and see is something currently tracking my location. And if it is, you can swipe down from the top right and you can always see what is using our location and decide after that fact whether you wanna turn that off or whether you're okay leaving it on. Now, we've been through a lot of these, all these system services that I would recommend turning off. You can always go back here, and I would also recommend looking at all of these apps and essentially go through all of these apps to decide is that an app that I'm okay sharing my location with or do I prefer not to share my location with? So you can see various things like OpenTable. If you don't want OpenTable to know your location, you can always hit never here. Or if you're okay, you can choose while using the app. I would recommend on any of these, if it ever asks to always use your location, some of them will say always use your location. I would recommend never turning that feature on. There's no reason why you need any app to always use your location but you can use some while using the app, for instance, like Google Maps, that obviously needs your location to work and function properly. So there are certain apps that I always turn on and have precise location turned on to help me navigate to wherever I'm going. I hope this all helped. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys.